Y'all saw the stream, Kodak, on Kai Sinat, Kai Sinat. a few weeks ago? Yeah, Kai Sinat's Mafia Thon Subathon, which is he does it once a year. And I guess he does it to accumulate the most amount of subs throughout the streaming community. Mm-hmm. And of course, he likes to bl- bring a plethora of guests. I think as of recently, he brought on Quavo, he brought on Glorilla, um, some other notable people that I can't remember at this current moment. But Kodak Black was one of the people. And for years, we kind of know Kodak Black hasn't had the easiest uh, life, even though, of course, he's identifiable, he's rich, people know that he's famous. He seems to be struggling with some things, right, Savon? Yeah, it looks like, I mean, it doesn't look like he is struggling with drugs, uh, abusing drugs. And I just say he's going to die because we've seen this story before. And if he doesn't change, if he doesn't get the help, if he's not surrounding himself by better people, I feel like. It's a broken record because we see so many of our artists go through this shit so publicly. Mm-hmm. And to see yeah. him be on a live stream, <clears throat> like, you know how on the previous Patreon episode, I said, I take my Sundays to protect me from me. Right. Right. Like, you have to do certain things to protect yourself from yourself. But when you're not able to protect yourself, you need people around you that are going to protect you. And so even if he is struggling, which we've seen him struggle publicly with these drugs, with these Percocets and all the other things that he's been doing, um, there needs to be somebody who could potentially protect you and say, you know what? He's struggling. He's going through it. Maybe I can't get him to stop, but I'm not going to allow him to get on the biggest stream in the world's platform and continue to display his drug abuse for everyone to see. You know what the like, problem is, bro? I don't think he has um the a corporate team around him. I want to be very specific mm-hmm. in the words I'm using. You know, a lot of the times when you have these rap imprints that have these entourages, you have your team that's with the label, right? Mm-hmm. And then you'll have the team, really your homeboys. <laughs> like the niggas you kicking it with every other day, every day, et cetera. And I don't think he has that corporate team anymore. Uh, even his last releases don't, seem to have the most amount of backing and support. Um, it's funny. He just dropped an album probably about a week ago. He had no features on it. But you want to know what's interesting, Savon? If you listen to the album, you wouldn't even know that the dude is on drugs. And it's fucking my head up because it's like, how is he able to go inside the studio and just know when to punch in? I guess it's sort of like autopilot for him now, right? He's on autopilot. He knows exactly where to punch it. Yeah, he knows where to punch in the verse, the hook. And it doesn't seem like a guy is slurring his words. You can hear what he's saying. But it seems as if the moment he leaves the booth, the addiction continues and his verbiage just deteriorates. Mm-hmm. Well, sometimes those drugs enhance people's ability. Right. Um, we see it all the time. Like a lot of your favorite artists or people's favorite artists, once they get sober, the music just don't hit the same. The art just doesn't hit the same. Like, they had lightning in the bottle while they were doing all these drugs. I know Kid Cudi, he's one of the artists where people are like, yo, when he was on drugs, it was better. I know Eminem, when he was on drugs, the shit was fire. Get it's like when you're acid. And this is what I'm saying. Just Chance the Rapper. Yeah. Like, yeah, that those drugs, future. sometimes, fu- future. like, future. It's, it's, future sometimes good. it just helps. Sometimes it just enhances the product. So right. I don't expect us to really be able to determine what a drug addict sounds like through his music. Yeah. Even though they're telling it to us at certain times. But when you're live streaming, right, there is, it's not a controlled environment. Like on the red carpet at award shows, you may see people drunk, you may see people high, but it's a controlled environment. There's right. producers, there's showrunners, there's people who's always going to make sure the show is always going to go on. Even if we got to pivot on the blink of a dime, we will do it. On a live stream that's not curated, that is literally live, right? Like there is no cut, edit, let's redo this, take. It's none of that. It's you, the camera, and in Kai Sinat's case, millions of people watching you <laughs> during that time. So for somebody on his team, and again, I don't expect somebody to get him to just stop drug, right? That's his vice. Those are his demons. That's his battle. Yeah. He's going to get through that. His team, hopefully he can get through that. But what I do expect is for somebody that loves you or is around you to at least not exploit you or allow you Mm -hmm. to put yourself 
on the biggest stream on a live world, stream yeah on a live stream this nigga was popping percocets throwing it in the air and catching it yeah was like wild. a stomper like a skill yeah, like a little skill like a little tic-tac he was doing you that know how wild. they say like doing tricks on a dick he was doing <laughs> tricks on the pit like i yeah. never seen no shit like this in my life you know yeah, what I mean? it was definitely uncomfortable yeah. yeah but i don't know he's why gonna die. It, no, i don't know it. yeah don't because of because we don't know, like, his situation, what, like, Alex was saying. Like, we don't know if he has a corporate team anymore. I don't know. Maybe he does. I don't know. But what this made me think of, it's kind of random and not related, but it kind of is. It made me think of Tyla, her stream with Kai Sinat. Like, you could tell that was not, like, a casual, like, oh, text Kai. Let me pull up. It was, like, the record label was like, hey, let's exactly. do this for 30 minutes. Because Tyla, right. the reason why she's so successful, like, is because she has a real team. Like a yeah. marketing team, an A and R team, the label, her own creative people who make her music, which is why her music sounds authentic to her, her culture. Like she has a real team, and it seems like artists like Kodak they don't have that foundation anymore, and it's it's and, sad because you need that team. And yeah, you're right. And if I'm independent, um, I think Kodak is independent now. He just doesn't have the same backing he had before with Atlantic. And I know that I just put out an album, like I, how I just mentioned. Kai Sanat stream, maybe to not only Kodak, but his team that he's working with, that probably makes a lot of sense, right? Like, we just put out a project. Let's go out to promote it. But to your, to your point, man, you got to know the, the limitations of who you're dealing with, man, especially when you're dealing with him on a day-to-day -day basis. It should be no reason why you throwing perks in the air and catching them in your mouth. That's, that's an addiction. <laughs> Damn, and to feel so bad. comfortable That's like it, it, it's almost like um with the diddy situation with cassie right? right we got to see the video and it's like holy shit this man did this in a hotel yeah. in a public hallway lobby elevator whatever like imagine what he was doing behind closed doors that's right? what's so scary about it like, if kodak is popping these shits on a live stream and him and kai and I, i'm gonna assume i don't know I'm going to assume they're not bros like that. They're not best nah. friends. They're not kicking it every day. Nah. So for you to not only do that on camera, you know you're being recorded and around somebody who's not really a man like that. Can you imagine what he's doing when he goes home and there's nobody else around but the people who enable him? Yeah. Right? Like, Probably worse. That is what's really wild to me. And that's why, again, I'm not putting that out there. I don't want that to happen to him. Yeah. But we've seen this story before. Like He is on a fast track of to death. Like, did y'all watch the Juice World documentary a few years ago on Max? I HBO? remember. I remember. That was a lot. I wasn't really a Juice World fan like that. I knew his impact. I think his music was re really good. It connected with a lot of people. Super talented. Um, yeah. But it, it, it was always eerie because he glorified drug use. But then when they did this documentary, um, you could see just how bad the drug use was and how much it was affecting his, his life, his family. He was in open drug like it was openly known he was a drug addict yeah. his girl at the time like he just had a bunch of enablers around him and to know that they are from the same era right they're peers in the space same age same targeted group whatever the case may be came up around the same time to see that you have all of these examples of people who have died we just had a rich homie this year rest in peace yeah. like you know what your end the outcome is going to be at this point and so that's the only reason why I'm like, oh, yeah, he, I, I, I'm yeah. not going to be surprised if we wake up one day and we see Rest in Beast, Kodak Black. You want, also, yeah. he's exhibiting fiend behavior, the twitching, talking over his words, not being uh, clear, being difficult to understand, the twitching. It's like, dog, you're literally in your 20s, man. How do you expect mm -hmm. to still be here for your 30s and your 40s? And to your point, I, I hope we don't wake up to a rest in peace Kodak Black, but we've seen this story before. It's like, mm -hmm. if you're not going to listen to nobody, how do you change this? I remember when he got locked a few years back and he came back home and he got sober. And that was good to see. To see him sober to this now, you can clearly see that he has not taken his health seriously yeah. since he's like he's back battling home. with it. Yeah, no, for real. I, you know what? I don't like prison for anyone, but rehabilitation, that's the word I'll use. Rehabilitation is important for people who have actually gone through things. Now, I don't mean rehabilitation should mean jail for everyone. I don't know what that looks like. I don't know if that's rehab, et cetera, but he mm -hmm. needs to have an extended period of time away from all of this. And it's, I guess it's tough when this is how you make music. 
and music ain't making a bunch of money. So you got to shake and move. You got to do appearances. Yeah, you got to do appearances. You got to do shows. You have to be visible. So it's tough. I think I think it's a perfect storm and it's a perfect excuse for artists like Kodak, who were really hot at some point, um, who was at the top of the world, had all the support from the labels. Um, had the social buzz, was accepted sociably. Like there was a time where it was Kodak, it was Lil Baby, it was Gunna. It was all of these guys that was looked at as like the next wave of carrying the torch from the previous generations. And to know that he probably isn't getting the support that he's used to getting, he may not be as hot as he once was. Um, that transition is, it creates the perfect storm for an enabler. Or for somebody who's struggling with drugs. Or depression, yeah. Depression, all yeah. of these things. It just for makes sure. it worse because you're used to being a man. You're used to having the money. You're used to booking all of these shows. You're used to being able to sell out certain things. And like, if Kodak Black continues to go in this path, right? Again, there's only two outcomes. There's only two. Broke and dead. Dead or broke, right? Like, this path. It doesn't mean he can't redirect. It doesn't mean he can't change it. He doesn't has mean he to. He can't get the point. help. Right. But like the point that he is at, he th- this does not look good. It does not feel good. And we're going to look at Kai's stream if something does happen to Kodak mm-hmm. and, and, and look at this and be like, why didn't we talk about this more? 